I should say, suspected impact point. Have a lift car that can't get the light all to work. So there seems to be some kind of mechanical problem. Let's send back another light. Meantime, we're going to take some readings with the guy who's higher and uh, chase around here a little bit, wait for the light off the market.
Okay, lights off. He took this long to dock. What do you think about the spot? Okay. This is a fall off and a 
again. But it just moved to the right. Yeah. Off to the right. Strange. Oh, well, what are you doing left? Let's go to the edge of the woods up there. Do you want to do a lot of lights? Let's do it carefully. Come on. Okay, we're looking at the thing. We're probably about two or three hundred yards away. It looks like an eye winking at you. It's still moving from side to side. And when you put the star scope on it, it, it sort of has a hollow center, a dark center. It's, it's you know, like a pupil of an eye looking at you and winking. And the flash is so bright to the star scope that uh, it almost burns your eye. Across in the next field, now we have multiple sightings of up to five lights with a similar shape and all, but they seem to be steady now rather than a pulsating or glow with a red flash. We just crossed the, the creek, and uh, we're getting what kind of readings? We're getting two, three good clicks on the meter, and we're seeing strange lights in the sky. At 244, we're at the far side of the farmer's, the second farmer's field and made sighting again about 110 degrees. This looks like it's clear off to the coast. It's right on the horizon. Moves about a bit and flashes from time to time. Still steady or red in color. Also, after negative readings in the center of the field, we're picking up the slight readings, uh, four or five clicks now on the meter. 305, we see strange uh, strobe-like flashes to the uh, rather sporadic, but there's definitely something, uh, some kind of phenomenal. 305, at about uh, 10 degrees horizon, uh, directly north, we've got two strange objects, uh, half moon shape, clad with colored lights on them, but uh, gets to be about 5 to 10 miles out, maybe less. The half moons have now turned into full circles, as though there was an elip eclipse or something there for a minute or two. 315, now we've got an object about 10 degrees directly south, 10 degrees off the horizon. And the ones in the north are moving, what's moving away from us? Moving out fast. Yeah, we're both heading north. Okay. Oh, here, here he comes from the south. He's coming toward us now. Now we're observing what appears to be a beam coming down to the ground. This is unreal. 330, 0, 330, and the objects are still in the sky, although the one to the south looks like it's losing a little bit of altitude. We're turning around and heading back toward the, the base. The object, to the, the object to the south is still beaming down lights to the ground. Zero four hundred hours, one object still hovering over Woodbridge Base at about five to ten degrees off the horizon, still moving erratic and similar lights and beaming down this area. 